I have found life through boxing. Um, I've found meaning, I have found purpose, and through combat sports and punching shit, man, there, there's a lot of freedom. My name is Jeffrey Meadows. I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. My sobriety date is October 24, 2017. And since age 11, I have been dancing with the devil. I've been in and out of jails and institutions from AEP, ALC, Leo, The Rock, MTC, ISF, the McCabe Center, um, and then the penitentiary. So what this docu-series is gonna set the tone for is um, we just wanna help inspire people that a new way of life is possible. Gentlemen, it's our pleasure to welcome you to New York, where the local time is approximately 3.22. You may now switch out of airplane mode and use the cellular functions on your electronic devices. I'll be happy. Okay. Thank you. Thousand dollar fine if you don't complete the form. <laughs> no, they didn't do this to me. No shit. It's because y'all came from Austin. <laughs> Three years sober, bruh. <laughs> Gonna go see what the Brooklyn Bridge, hitting up super rare fight goods, maybe do some inspirational shit. <laughs> I don't know. It's a big ass camera. It's just right here. The camera's just right here. <laughs> Check out Super Rare. They have two locations, one in New York, one in LA. Um, they have probably some, my personal opinion, they have some of the best um, fight goods from gloves to gear to apparel to focus mitts. Um, amazing store, so we're gonna go check it out. I will never complain about traffic and parking again in my entire fucking life. I'm grateful for Austin, Texas. <laughs> so man, how's uh, training going this morning over at Hill Street? Um, Avery Smith is back I'm out there doing some myths with his uh, client, though. So. Sounds good, brother. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you in a little bit. are closed statewide. Five months since gyms were forced to close. Day one in a statewide shutdown of gym. 19 this week has brought deepening anxiety for millions of small New businesses. The governors of New Jersey and New York making a joint announcement about the coronavirus. Movie theaters and gyms will all close. Can't wait for gyms to reopen in their area. In Valley Stream, Long Island, Natalie Dudder, CBS 2 News. We were the first to close and we'll be the last to reopen. Enter phase four today and will reopen next week. After being shut down for nearly six months, it's gyms new in New York State can reopen. Today. Today. Navarro, Governor Cuomo just announced gyms can it's reopen as soon as August 24th, yeah, one week from today. They will be permitted to reopen at 33% capacity and masks will be mandatory. The gyms must have ventilation systems in place and there will be inspections. <laughs> Let me 
Italy, to your food I'm just trying to cause a scene But I'm in Paris with my team Walking slow like I'm a lean Damn, my nigga jewelry looks so clean I occasionally born in Lampin I ain't talking about Jim Jones Nigga, I'm talking about hooping up Special shirt, break the break How you doing, man? Safe travel, the 24th of March I just did three years in prison and then October 24th, I got sober, and I'm three years sober, so wow. it's kind of like everything's fucking connected, like yeah, the yeah, universe yeah. is right. fucking intertwined. Well, Easiest progression is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's basically like letting the bag stop its momentum. Five beats is middle. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Three beats is consistent, hand over hand. Here, just go out to Montauk and take a ride back, shower, give me a call, we'll meet at my house, we'll go with something to eat, you know, we'll get some takeout, whatever. Okay. And then we'll, we'll do something tonight. Yeah, definitely got to get some Yeah, no, definitely. Before I head out, that's, I'm, I'm itching to wrap up, put the yeah. gloves on, itching. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. We're going to the end of the island, bro. There's a big lighthouse or some shit. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go look over it and do some inspirational shit. That's the goal, yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> to see how many people we could inspire on this journey to New York. Oh, yeah. uh, let me know if you hear anything. Oh, yeah, All right, peace. Bye. So, we're developing uh, a sober living house in Austin, Texas that's tailored around combat sports. So what we do is re revamp the body aspect of the threefold system of addiction, the body, mind, and spirit um, through the fundamentals of combat sports. Um, boxing, jujitsu, Muay Thai um, to help combat with anxiety, depression, PTSD, um, just overall mental health and substance abuse and alcoholism. Uh, of course, uh, within the program, uh, it is a 12-step emerged program. The mind and spirit side is uh, the 12-step, and then the body is combat sports. So it's, uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. It'll be the first combat sober living house in the United States. Um, so we're pretty much franchising black sheep boxing into the sober living community. Everybody has a past. Me, you, I don't care who you are, if you dig deep. Most of this population, um, we've gone through something. Depression, anxiety, um, whether you, if you were molested as a kid, whether you were beaten, um, whether you've been involved in some very early toxicity that um, you didn't ask for. Um, substance abuse, alcoholism, or you know somebody um, that struggled to turn our past into something positive and to carry that message to the individual that's still suffering and to inspire them and let them know that there is another way of life. If I live a toxic life, I'm going, I'm going to attract toxic people. My life is going to get worse and worse and worse. So whenever I get rid of that lifestyle and I start attracting positive outgoing individuals, um, I start taking back my life. And if just one individual sees it and they wake up in the morning and they say, you know what? I'm tired of being sick and tired. I'm ready to fucking do something about it. Um, then all this, all the money, all the, the traveling, the miles, um, the driving, it, it's worth it. I absolutely love the idea of inspiring individuals because that's what inspires me to continue on this path. Um, you know, we all struggle, but the thing is, is are you gonna utilize that struggle, those trials and tribulations, and are you gonna turn into something good, and are you gonna help people? Um, and that's one of the reasons why we do this.
boxing specifically, brother, it, it's it's a way to it forces you to live in the present. It's like I'm so worried about where these feet are going, where these hands are going. So it forces us to live in the present. And people that struggle with mental health or substance abuse, we never live in the present because we're obsessing over that next high. We're obsessing over that next drink. If we're codependent, we're obsessing over where that woman's at. Mm -hmm. Or the finances or whatever toxicity. And the second part is, it's a natural way to release endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin. The feel-good chemicals, you like the runner's high, right? We don't, we don't get to experience that. Through drugs and alcohol, we damage that part of the brain and we have a chemical imbalance. Depression, anxiety, PTSD, through fitness, health, basic fucking just health and wellness, bro. But specifically, when we start punching shit, it's a natural way to balance out that, that chemical imbalance. people that get out of detox man they come straight to me and within a week or two we're punching stuff we're going through the fundamentals you literally see literally you see the light come back in their eyes <laughs> the discipline and the commitment to training because like you said you have to be there in the moment 100 percent of the time yep. you build the strength and the fortitude to be able to take on those other things in your life that may have been holding you back that you didn't know how to necessarily tackle people who maybe were fluttering not necessarily knowing where their place was coming with a new sense of confidence a new sense of purpose mm -hmm. and uh, when they leave they feel like they got a new lease on life, and to be part of that is like something I wouldn't give up for the world. We want to bring it to the kids, but the kids want the confidence. You know, that kid who might be getting bullied in school, you know, we want him to come to the gym, you know, get the confidence, just to say no, leave me alone, instead of running and hiding and all that time. Through boxing, it's given me life, and it's given countless people that I've been working with for the past couple of years, the beautiful stories, they just don't end, you know? Yeah. And, uh, Boxing is fucking, this is where it's at. Big man, you right, bro? Yeah! <laughs> Boxing, Tom and Avery, the owners out here, uh, will be back, and now we're coming for Houston, Texas. No, we're in Quag. This is Quag. So, give me wh this is where Quag. the fuck do we're, I say? We're not. We're not. We're, we're, you're in Quag, New York, Quag, Long Quag? Island. Quag, Long Island. Yeah. You. What happened when you okay. were in Manhattan? Right. What did you think of Manhattan? Coming first of all, Long Island, Long Island. bro. So, Long Island. from from Quag, Long Island, New York. That just um, sounds wrong. So, all right, <laughs> we're gonna close out. Let's all focus. Right. All right. Our vision is to. 
<laughs> now we're getting into the fucking laughter. This is it. All right, fuck. Son of a bitch. Our vision is to... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> One line. One fucking line. One line. Why? Why? <clears throat> fucking line. Literally. We do this all day and it's one fucking line. It's just fucking mind blowing. Our vision is to bring freedom to others through combat sports. He did it! He did it! Yes! <laughs> Woo! I'm oh, sorry, I ran apart with couplex. <laughs> you hear do, do, do. shut up! <laughs> JFK. That's Queens. So we're in Queens right now. Yeah. I'm in Queens, New York. <laughs> this is like that movie coming to America. Oh! You dumb fuck! Take us to Queens at once. What is that? What is that? Don't waste. Did we uh, run over a cat or something? Or... Fucking trash can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trash can. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> don't worry. Is it just gone? You don't, it's stuck. <laughs> oh my I god. <laughs> Like, there it is. Like, man, I haven't been this motherfucker for two fucking seconds, bro. Get in the fucking car. That doesn't own the fucking 